So to get this eye look, I'm first going to start out by using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is just clear and I'm going to start by just squeezing some on my hand and priming my eye. So you're just going to want to rub that all over the lid up to your crease bone. So after you have it all rubbed in, I'm going to go for my Glinda eyeshadow palette which looks like this. It's by Urban Decay and my Sigma E55 eye shading brush and I'm just going to be taking this blue color and I'm just going to be getting some on my brush and I'm going to be putting this in my inner corner. And I'm going to be bringing it up to the first inner third of my eye. And I know this is a crazy inner corner look, but this is supposed to be an ombre look. And when it is all blended together, it will come together and it will actually look really pretty. So next, I'm also going to be taking Urban Decay's um, Glenda palette and I'm going to be taking this pinky cotton candy pink color and I'm going to be putting this in my inner third right next to this icy blue color. And sorry if you, I'm kind of doing this like shaky. This is my first time doing the tutorial and my camera is definitely not autofocused. So this color is not really supposed to show up. It's just supposed to be a really cute cotton candy pink color. You can kind of see it here but not it, yeah, you can see it there, but it's actually supposed to be blended in with this purple color. Next, I'm going to take this purple color. It's like just a dark purple, and I'm going to be placing this. And again, this is an ombre look. It's a wintry ombre look. That's why it's only purples and blues. And I'm going to be placing this all over the lid. It's super, super dark. And then I'm just going to be blending it, this into my crease. And it looks very patchy right now, but when it's all blended together, it will look much better. So as you can see, this purple's really dark. I'm going to be taking my E55 eyeshading brush from Sigma, like the one that I've been using the past times. And as you can see, it's kind of more toned down on this eye. I'm just taking a gold glittery color, and I'm going to be placing that all over the lid to kind of add some sparkle to everything and tone down the colors and I'm just gonna blend it all together and for the final touch I'm gonna be taking my Tarte just fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna be blending my whole entire lid up to my crease together like this eye is a little bit more blended so I'm gonna try to make it like that by just blending the color and fixing any fallout And as you can see, I have a little bit of gold on my lower lash line, so I'm going to be taking the same gold, and I already have it on my brush, that I used to tone down the purple, and I'm going to be lining my lower lash line with that. So after you've done that, all you want to do is you just want to finish this look off with a mascara. And after you have mascara applied to your top lashes, I forgot that you do need to curl your eyelashes before um, you put on mascara. Then I love to put on bottom mascara, so I'm using the same exact Merit um, mascara to do the bottom. After you finish your bottom mascara, this should be your completed eye look. I like to just go in with a little bit of blush. So after you finish the completed eye tutorial, I just like to use my NARS Orgasm Blush, which is a very subtle peachy pink color with golden undertones. Since I'm kind of, this can kind of be considered a smoky eye, like it kind of is dark. So I'm just using a subtle blush color with my Sigma F40 Large Contour Brush. And I'm just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks. So this was the finished look and hopefully you guys liked it. 
the eye makeup up is really simple and it doesn't take a long time. Uh, sorry about the quality of this tutorial. So yeah, um, I'm really sorry and I thought this tutorial would be like a lot easier but it kind of was a little bit hard because I didn't like know how to like do the angling and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!